Well, it's closing time here at the bookshop, and as it's absolutely freezing, I thought I'd hang around for a few minutes and recommend a book to you all instead of walking home. Uh, this is one for the history buffs, the Shakespeare buffs. It is Macbeth Before Shakespeare, written by Benjamin Hudson and published by Oxford University Press. It came out just last year. It is, as the title implies, the story of how chroniclers and historians treated the genuine 11th century Scottish king Macbeth. Hudson shares what little we do know about the real man himself. Uh, some details of his life are recognisable from Shakespeare's play. There was not just a real Macbeth, but a real Duncan, who he really did kill. A real Malcolm, who uh, um, was indeed a rival to Macbeth. And then some details that will surprise anyone who is familiar with Macbeth only through Shakespeare. Such as the remarkable fact that uh, Macbeth was the only Scottish king from the medieval periods to visit Rome. Next, Hudson moves on to how Macbeth was remembered and represented. Uh, now, for the first two centuries following his death, Macbeth actually enjoyed the reputation of a rather good king. OK, he killed his, uh, his predecessor. That wasn't deemed extraordinary for the times, and uh, he was nothing like the villain that we find in Shakespeare. The gradual uh, blackening and transforming of his character into the figure we find in Shakespeare's play is primarily thanks to three Scottish chroniclers uh, writing in the 14th to 16th centuries. Their names are John of Fordun, Andrew of Wintoun, and uh, Hector Boyce. Other stories of Macbeth from other authors proliferate and, and uh, cross-pollinate, but these are the three that, that Hudson dedicates the most time to. Laying out the different motivations for why Macbeth's reputation fell so dramatically. In the case of John of Fordun, it was because he wasn't particularly writing the history of Macbeth, he was writing the history of his rival, Malcolm Canmore, and in that story, Macbeth is the villain. What Andrew of Wintoun added was, amongst other things, the supernatural elements of the Macbeth story that we find in Shakespeare, the weird sisters, um, the elements of prophecy. And uh, really interestingly, to those who are into uh, Arthurian lore, details that don't make it into Shakespeare's play, such as uh, Macbeth's origin story. He is the result of his mother's liaison with the devil. Hector Boyce, uh, Hudson presents as the, the stylist of the three, the uh, historian who gives Macbeth his swagger, makes him a, a somewhat uh, ironising and irresistible figure, um, setting him up for, for the figure we find in Shakespeare. I'm condensing hugely there. This is a, a fascinating, detail-packed book. Um, you'll get to meet the Picts, you'll get to uh, see the influence of Geoffrey of Monmouth on stories to do with Macbeth, as well as find out about the way in which Macbeth figures as a character in Scandinavian lore and chronicles um, that were being written at the same time. A fascinating work of history. It's a fascinating story, really, of an intellectual property passing between hands and eras and, and being transformed. Uh, intellectual property seems like a very 21st century or 20th century term to use in this context, but um, that's how it feels like. That's what um, I found so fascinating about it, seeing the way in which this, this character changed shape um, in time for Shakespeare to get his hands on it. So I'd highly recommend that book, um, uh, Macbeth Before Shakespeare by Benjamin Hudson, I'll uh, leave a link in the episode description box below. It is Oxford University Press, which means it'll be, um, it is quite expensive. But uh, you could always see if you can borrow a copy from your library or um, pick it up secondhand uh, if you keep an eye out for it.